After visiting the Panama Canal in the morning, we started our drive over to Boquete. On the way, we decided to stop for lunch along the Pacific Coast. If you want to see our visit to the Panama Canal, check out the video in the links below. So this guy is guiding us to a restaurant because probably there's other people that want you to go to their restaurants. Yes, that's why he's uh, guiding us because there, there were these guys here. The fellow we met at the top of the road led us all the way down to this cute little restaurant right on the beach. Sometimes life will push you down, push you down. Make you fall onto the ground. But I know you will turn it around. Oh, this is all we got. It's all steps. Well, this is cute. We had a fantastic view of the Pacific Ocean while we were having lunch. It was a great way to relax before we started our drive again. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me love. Show me love. Marisol had the pescado frito. Show me love. And I had a chicken quesadilla. They were really good. After lunch, it was time to continue our drive to our hotel for tonight. We arrived to our hotel for the night. It looks really nice, really clean and small. This is in our way to get there. Huh? I like it. There's some more to go. So close to us. What do you think? I think it's very nice. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. So we got up this morning and we're driving today to Boquete, which is up in the mountains, kind of in the middle as you're going across Panama. It's supposed to be some really pretty scenery up there and coffee plantations, and a lot of things to look at. So we'll show you the scenery as we go. Hold this checkpoint. We'll see if we get scenery just in case. Hola. That's it. Well, so what I read about driving here was correct. There are a lot of police checkpoints. So you definitely don't want to be doing anything you shouldn't be doing. Like speeding. Well, like speeding or drinking and driving. They have zero tolerance for that. You're very likely to get caught. Not worth it. <laughs>
Okay, this is the okay thing. It's a save my life. <laughs> <laughs> Once we got into Bukete, first thing we need to do is find a place to park and look for some lunch. As we looked for where to find lunch, we found out why everyone says Bukete is such a beautiful town. I had the carbonara and Marisol ordered lasagna. Never a tea. Hello. Good afternoon. So we made it to Paquete and the first order of business, of course, was stop and get some lunch. So we stopped here and had some Italian food. Mine was pretty good. How about you? It was good. Good. So now we're going to kind of go explore the town a little bit. So walking around Bocete, there's a nice little river there behind us, some clouds on the mountains. And then over here is where they do their flower and coffee festival. We're going to take a walk down there and look at it. Oh, this is pretty. What do you think? Beautiful geraniums. I think we're going to need it. I love geraniums. Geraniums. Beautiful geraniums. Old Toyota Land Rover. Oh, it's a Toyota. Toyota made a Jeep. Don't let the kids climb on it. <laughs> Definitely flower themed, huh? Yeah. This is like a leaf. <laughs> you can sit here and you have your drink. So is it comfortable? <laughs> Not the most comfortable, but it's okay. <laughs> so there's like little drink stands and stuff through here. Nice. Very cool. So that's an interesting looking statue. Is that an alien? <laughs> Maybe. In between. Look, this is very long. It goes all the way up to over there where the red dots. There's a lot. There's a flowers. This is a lot bigger than it looked when we were coming across the bridge. Oh my god! <laughs> you trip on the one rock in the path. My <laughs> love. <laughs> so it's a very long path. Very it goes long. all the way down there, and we didn't know it was this big when we were coming over the bridge, and then. We've already been on the path for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It starts way back there. Oh, look, a unicorn. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah, look, a little festive unicorn. Very nice. Very nice. So what do you think of the flower place? The flower and coffee festival grounds? It's very nice. They have a lot of flowers and I like the butterfly. I bet when it's uh, the festival is full of flowers, it's going to look awesome. It would be great. And that river next to us. Yeah, it all runs right next to the river. So you get the sound of the water. It's pretty cool. Didn't think they had this year. Let's see. How's the term go? Kaylin? No. 
¡Qué lindo! Muy bonito. This is a vivero where they call the flowers, I betcha. Right? I believe it is. So the festival isn't actually going on right now. They just still have the fairgrounds open for it. So there's a bunch of booths and stuff that aren't being used right now. But it's still nice to come and look at all the flowers. And it's nice that we can still get in, even though the festival is not actually going on. On here toward the front part, there are some of the booths that are open. A burrow full of bougainvillea yeah. and a seal sticking his head out of one. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, yeah. caterpillar. caterpillar. There's another. And another caterpillar. Wow. That one's like an inch. That's one. a pineapple. Oh, piña. Yeah. We just arrived to our Airbnb here in Buquete. Let me show you our Airbnb. We are very happy about it. Look at these flowers. Look at this ginger. Some banana trees over there. And some banana trees there also then you have this little pathway where it tells you where to go once and i think each one has a little statue click the thinker and then las escaleras y aquí Está el view. Sí. This is Airbnb. Yes. This is it's just what we need for tonight. One room. Just what we needed. Look at the walls. They're made of. Yeah, metal. Containers, no? Yeah, I think this is, was an old shipping container, so I think uh -huh. is what these were. It's very Look. cute, though. Yeah. Yeah, a little mini fridge in here, which is nice. Oh, look. We have a ceiling fan, which is great. ceiling fan, uh, fan inside that. <laughs> and the baños over here. I've gotten used to saying that lately. That's actually a really good size shower for this little container. I just hope they have hot water. <laughs> and look at this toucan singing with a saxophone. I've been playing a saxophone. And the monkeys. <laughs> After we got settled in the Airbnb, we took a walk down to the main street to get some dinner. We found this place. We had some really good food, great service, and then headed back to the Airbnb to get some rest before tomorrow's hikes. Wow, i never seen one this big. Look how high it is. <laughs> Nothing huge. Mm -hmm. The next morning. Before we headed out to hike some of the trails outside of Baquete, we had to stop and get some coffee. This place was really cute. 
and the coffee was very good. Twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. This is another day. Good morning. So we're going to take a little drive this morning. There's like a loop that goes around here outside of Boquete where there's, it's like a nature loop. So a bunch of like waterfalls and hiking trails and things like that. So we're going to take a little run out here, see what that looks like. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me. How blue that water is. So the old forgotten bridge. <laughs> There's the new bridge. Old bridge. So this is a very pretty park next to the river. It's got uh, walking paths on either side of the bridge. There's an old bridge next to it that we walked across to kind of see what things look like. Maybe we're not, we were not supposed to do that, but... Hey, there was no sign <laughs> said don't go there. You just had to crawl over the brush, you know? Uh, that's true. It's an adventure. <laughs> and we are off a la siguiente aventura. Off to the next adventure. You know, a coffee shop, supposedly. You have to come across the bridge to get to it. What you doing? I threw my coffee on my car. So this is one of the waterfalls along this route we decided to drive this morning. Very beautiful. The water is so clear, the sound is gorgeous, it's very beautiful here. It is. Oh my goodness, oh my god, oh my god, this is crazy, it was so steep.
the road. So this trail near the end of a long windy mountain road says it goes down to the Lost Waterfall. So we're gonna go see what's down here. It says lost and then in Spanish it says three, three waterfalls. So we don't know what we're gonna find, but we'll see. Yeah. It's a nice morning. Nice morning for a walk. Mm -hmm. So far, this has been very pretty. It says, it says over there, we yep. have to go that way to your left. See. Si. Oh, mira el perro. Look at that. <laughs> it's has a... Oh, my perro. Oh, you got pretty eyes. Look at that. Uh-huh. That didn't walk all the way down the river, huh? Ah, wet and slippery <laughs> it is you need to be really careful and hold on to the rail especially in certain spots oh my god look look how's it look from here coming up it felt a little steep but going down look going down it is definitely steep <laughs> I was thinking maybe going, you know, sitting down, <laughs> all the way down, but it's so muddy. Just slide down it, like a slide? Yeah. <laughs> I don't it's know. so muddy and rocky. Those rocks might be a little hard on the tushy. Yes. Sliding down. <laughs> Just do it carefully. <laughs> It does move a lot. <laughs> mm. 
once we finished our hike, it was time to start driving over to Almirante. We'd spend the night there before we got on the ferry to head over to Bocas del Toro the next day. This part of the drive was over the mountains. Beautiful, but very windy. This is what we're working with for another hour and 44 minutes. 60 miles per hour. So I've noticed in a lot of places on the other road, mm -hmm. they had that resumed velocity, uh -huh. but not to tell you what it was. So you had to remember what it was before you had to slow down. Oh, okay. <laughs> in order to go back to the right thing. And this is the first one we got. Yeah, that, so far that's the first one I've seen where they actually put a speed limit sign after the one that said return yeah. to previous velocity. Sí, ya, ya. Sí. Dale. Okay. Papá, Isla Colón. Muchas gracias. Isla Colón. Gracias. Isla Colón. Sí, Isla Colón. Sí, sí. Muy sí. bonito allá. Ah, sí. Pasaba ok. Bien gracias. En la isla. Ajá. Gracias. We have arrived. <laughs> so we're now Marante for tonight. There's an Airbnb here. We're gonna go get some dinner. And then in the morning we catch the ferry over to Focus. Yes. So we just got to El Almirante and we came to have dinner with us. We got this Cristal beer. I tried it already. It's really good. I like it. It's my style of beer. It's like uh, Sol in Mexico. Like that. It's very good. And it's so cold. Just what I needed. So this restaurant was recommended to us by our Airbnb host, Gia. We first walked down here, I thought maybe she was a little crazy, but it's actually really good. Yeah, she was on point. <laughs> She's a very friendly lady. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. So we have some hot sauce called Picante Javi. From Hocus del Toro, Almirante, Panama. Um, can't tell what kind of peppers are in it, but they're good. Whatever Let me they are. Yes, and I had to uh, turn on the camera because he put too much, I think. Let's see no, his reaction. Perfecto. Really? It's not too hot? No. He got the Alfredo with pollo, and I got the Alfredo with camarones. Shrimp. And they're really good. I'm surprised for this little restaurant right by, you know, like the walls are like this year round. There is no other room. This is it. Roof, but no walls. Uh huh. And the food is really good. I'm so surprised. So it's good? Very good.
watching our video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any